first few rows. <laughs> Are you jumping your ass at the best? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Actors to the first few rows. It initially started as a gap for writers to, to learn more about their craft in action. Hi, my name is Linda Campbell and I initiated and run Right Camera Action. Right Camera Action currently is a voluntary run not-for-profit organisation in support of independent filmmaking in Glasgow and in recent years there's a lot of outreach, there's a lot of people come from, from different areas that aren't served by any kind of facility. I first came to Right Camera Action um, really on recommendation of someone who is a writer. I'd written a number of scripts, I'd been on a number of script writing courses, um, had a number of scripts written on my computer, never done anything with them. Uh, and someone told me it was a great opportunity to hear your scripts workshop and find out how they play out uh, with real actors. And I then looked up enough courage to be brave enough to put one of my scripts in, which was an interesting experience. It really helps me as a writer understand what is good and what is bad uh, and helps you develop it a bit better. On a typical workshop night, writers have already submitted scripts or parts of scripts I should say and we select ones that you know, we think are doable to be workshopped. Those four scripts are then matched to the directors on the night. They're given a workshop space, they use that space to rehearse. Everybody comes together at the end for performance at nine o'clock by which time they've had only a few hours and it's amazing the development that goes on in that focused couple of hours. After that, I would say the networking part of the night is just as important. I think that on a monthly basis, what you get is a chance to see great up and coming actors, up and coming writers. You get to see, you get uh, exposure to a considerable amount of talent, which at some point you hope you can make use of. After I left college, I didn't really know what I was going to do and how to get in about this kind of business. And I found that networking was a good way to meet like-minded people who also were interested in actually doing something rather than saying they were actually going to do something. What directors and actors get out of it is different from writers. You know, the writers will come along with their, their script and they'll get to see it brought to life, you know. Um, but for a director and an actor, to me it's like, um, it's a practice, it's, it's training, it's, it's just working on fine-tuning your skills as a director working with actors. Because you don't always get to direct films all the time unless you've got a lot of cash and time. Uh, one of the most important things I think that you get from Right Camera Action is the, the contacts that you make with other local filmmakers, um, writers, actors, uh, especially the likes of um, the, the, the writers. Um, they all have their own projects that, they've, that, they've, that they're uh, developing, but uh, they don't actually have the, the contacts um, with necessarily with a director or a producer to actually make the film and uh, coming along to Right Camera Action you get to, to actually meet other people that are at that same level that, uh, that they're then looking to, to sort of move on and, and make, make those projects. I've met a couple of people here and I've went off and did my own films with them. I, I've done a short called Box Squared in which uh, the director and the production was all people from Right Camera Action and the writer's script competition, the winner was a film called Your Numbers Up and I auditioned for that and I got it and it's honestly one of the best movies I've ever worked on. I'm Kat. A lot of projects that I've been involved with in Scotland has been because of Right Camera Action. I've seen people getting cast in short films on the back of a, a performance that they've done. It happens so much, in fact we've started assessing scripts that go through us for cast calls and crew calls, simply to ensure that the script's ready, developed enough for us to say to our members, yeah, this is, you know, go for it. And if we didn't think it was ready, we would ask for it to be further workshopped. I suppose the thing that, about the workshops that constantly amazes me is how you get a group of people who are perhaps working for the first time, working on a script that they've maybe never seen before. and. By the end of the night, you actually get something that kind of feels com relatively complete. It kind of works as a, a as a performance, and that's kind of always surprised me because I remember the first time I went, and I remember seeing people reading the script, and it's kind of you, you thought, well, how's this how's this going to work out? And every night I've been it, every month, it somehow it does, and I think that's probably down to a lot a lot of that's down to the talent of the people involved. So the short script competition, the 
The prize, if you like, for that was that we then produced two, uh, it was supposed to be one film, but ended up joint winners. Um, and we were mentored by Andy Cassell, uh, Monotone Pictures. So we worked between learning from Andy and learning very much a lot of the craft ourselves to put the first two films from us into production. And we're two high quality films we're very, very proud of. You sat in your arse since she got here. I've been good. Lots of good folks went into heaven, but we're full to bursting. You'll have to prove your worth if you want to stay in. Hey. Nice. If it's real. It's real, all right. And the rest, if... If you're into the deal's okay. Don't worry, it'll be more than okay. I moved on from shorts and we would continue on shorts, but I, I produced my own first hour drama recently. It's now in edit. I've got another couple of projects in development, bigger projects. I've managed to cast and crew most of it from like-minded fellow filmmakers. And in turn, I'll help them with their projects when they need it. So yeah, it's, it's, it helps me as much as everybody else. I've workshopped my scenes just the same as anybody else. I've workshopped stuff that's dive bombed. I've workshopped other stuff that's, that's you know people are asking when can we see more. So it, it's just as much for me as anybody else. Same process. Bananas go straight through me. Perfect. It will not ruin your appetite, Benny. In Scotland in general, especially Glasgow, we have this sort of stereotype, and we we always see films about you know poverty and drugs and gangs. The majority of people that come to write camera action are quite keen not to do that anymore. They want to break out. We could tell any story really. We've got such a broad range of landscapes that are within just a couple of hours drive. The annoying thing is Glasgow's always portrayed as this really grim city. The only time it looks good is when it's doubling for another city like Philadelphia or New York. It's Film Four's 30th anniversary, so they came up with this competition where you would take a scene from one of their titles. It was about taking a scene from one of those films and making it your own completely making it your own. It wasn't about recreating it or making a spoof or something like that. It was about taking what the essence of that scene was and making something from it. Choose life. Choose a job. Choose a career. Choose your degree, a mountain of debt and a vista of a dead future. Film 4 have uh, a series of summer screenings in summer houses and open air courtyard. So it's been, it was transferred to 35mm and projected in front of the audience there. And there was a uh, presentation. It's going to be on television as well. When I found out we were winners, I've just been excited ever since. But if it wasn't for Right Camera Action, then I really wouldn't have been involved in that, in that production. Yeah, Right Camera Action has been kind of a, a common denominator. It's kind of, it's been the biggest source of contacts that I've, you know, I've had to date.